Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Thursday the 1st of October. Uh, quickly looking at the um, uh, event risk that may come out today, 9.30, we've got the final manufacturing PMI for the UK. That's not really a big hitter, it's, it's the final number. We've already seen the intermediate uh, flash figures. Um, 1.30, you've got some uh, unemployment claims and the core um, personal consumption expenditure and personal spending US. Uh, might create a little bit of volatility from that. The uh, more likely one is probably the ISM manufacturing PMI at 3 p.m. So nothing massive this morning um, and uh, we're left to technical so let's look at those. Starting off with the euro dollar and well it's been pushing and trying to get through that uh, daily uh, 21. There's a bit of divergence sitting there on the uh, four alleys at the moment. If it can push through, it's got an opportunity to push up towards its uh, weekly R1 there. It, there is 2.7 billion sitting at uh, uh, options worth sitting at 118. Now, whether this, these are call options, put options, goodness knows. Um, but there, are, there is a stack of options sitting there. Now, subject to it, they may get defended. We may see price run towards that area and stay towards that area. Um, depending on the type of options if they were call options you wouldn't expect price to be much beyond that if they put options again well price may just come up to that sort of level and, uh, and it may be defended okay um, looking aside of that technically we've got a trend line running across the lows here if that was to be broken maybe we'll see some further downside but uh, I think the upside may even with that divergence may still get through there difficult market to read at the moment. Um, the pound the pound has broken through its 21 and is sitting above its daily 21 on this chart here. Um, it seems to have these sort of surges and then horrible consolidation and this 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 sort of these moves are quite difficult. They go one surge and the rest of the time it's been pretty much chopping. Um, it got a bit oversold yesterday evening there but um, really at this stage it does look like there's more potential now there is an untouched daily pivot a break of the trend line across this near term sort of levels may just see it running through towards that but this stage still looking technically bullish okay dolly yen well no surprise to see it just still dancing around its trend, uh, average here not a lot to be said on this it's really difficult to uh, do too much with the ranges are tight and if you were looking straight on its own, well, it's really just not doing anything of significance. So we'll go away from that. Aussie dollar, he says. Aussie dollar, if I can get it back there. There we go. So the Aussie dollar pushing up again today. Uh, it looked okay for the last couple of days, and it's just really continuing through. Um, retracements offer off opportunities to buy at this stage. It has just run through um, into its uh, monthly pivot here. I just noticed on the... Uh, 60 minute here so I hit the monthly pivot whether that uh, new monthly pivot whether that acts as resistance we'll see a break above that really just uh, continue with this bullish spin that it's got um, so really just looking for retracements on the likes of the Australian dollar at the moment the Canadian dollar also catching the uh, the bid against it. I mean we're just seeing some weakness come through this is the US dollar of course US dollar Canadian dollar so um, we're seeing the US dollar softening here against the Canadian dollar yesterday again just a later surge seen a bit of continuation so far this morning break of this trend line really gives it more probably swing opportunity back to the lows but um, it's a bit shallow in terms of the movements the, high, the stops may have to be quite chunky um, not making it the best risk reward New Zealand dollar okay this is quite catching the bid it's a, the sentiment towards the New Zealand dollar improved this last week um, we'll see how this uh, shapes up but again it's really a buy on decent anything decent in the retrace again we're into the monthly pivot retracements are needed or I mean if you can close above that monthly pivot it becomes really bullish again okay that's pretty much it there the S&P's briefly let's just look at where we're going with these it's, they've been uh, up 0.8 overnight uh, pushing back up it's just come back to dailies here so yesterday it ran into that 34 um, retraced from that but uh, we're currently back into that sort of into those sort of levels there at the moment um, at the moment of reading through 
um, it sounds like there's a, the US fiscal stimulus deal might be a bit closer than previously and uh, seen and it may just spur these uh, uh, indices on. We've seen the European indices up so we may just see these uh, S&Ps continuing their road on, on the road up at the moment. So that's pretty much it for me. I wish you a great day. Bye for now. Music